Hey, what's up guys? Root from NoShell.com here today with you, and I'm gonna come back with some more Python tutorials. Uh, let's get idle started up, and I'll show you guys what we can do today. Uh, I'm gonna drag this right over here so we have a little bit more of a visual display here. Create a new script, file.python. Get a shebang line going. Get our object-oriented structure set up here. And now we are set to go. Let's create a new string variable, because we've been working with those a lot lately. So self.string can equal uh, just, a, just a simple plus sign for now. And I want to introduce you guys to a new function that we can do with, uh, with strings. So if we have our string variable, self.string, and we use our dot selector, there's a function that's really interesting that's called join. Now join will take whatever string that you pass to it, and then, like, it would say, what are you doing? And what it will do is it will take the function that the 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 uh, the string that you're calling it with as a sort of separator, and it'll separate each character inside what you've passed to it, and then replace it with that sort of uh, with uh, or at least insert them at those positions. So if we had uh, self dot string equals a plus sign, and we're using the join function on it, and we're passing in what are you doing, we'll get returned. Uh, let's see here. What are you doing? But between every single character, there will be a plus sign. What are you doing up until the end of that string? So you can make some, I guess, kind of interesting designs with this, I mean, if you wanted to. But it is just going to insert it at every other position other than that last one and the first one. So now CW doesn't have a, a, a plus sign preceding it, and the question mark doesn't have a plus sign preceding it because it's not it's going to avoid those. So we might have to put up with that when we're working inside of our, our function that we're going to create here. But remember, it takes what, we've, uh, what we're calling with it and sets that in between each iteratable item or the character inside the string that we've passed to the function. So let's try and create this. First of all, let's print this out so you guys can see what I, what I meant. And it does exactly that. What are you doing with the plus sign inside, or at least right beside every single one of these? And we can change this to like um, dot 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 or something. It says, what are you doing or something with all these with all these dot dot dots in there. So let's try this on our own though. Let's define a new function. So let's call this join. We can do self string, uh, let's see. <clears throat> string to iterate through, and then string to put in. We can get that variable name set. Okay, now we can create a new string, and for now this is going to be blank. And now we can begin to loop through each character. So for each character in string to iterate through we're going to want to add that to the new string along with the string that we're putting in here so if we do string to actually new string plus equals string to iterate through or at least no oh, sorry just character and then we can add on string to put in Now when we're done looping, we can print out, or sorry, return, the new string. So we might have a problem here that we might be able to up, uh, fix, but first of all, let's see how our function works right off the bat. So if we print out self.join, and then we pass in, the string that we want to iterate through is what are you doing, and the string that we're putting in is self.string. So let's run this. We have, what are you doing? And it's almost verbatim, except we have that plus sign at the end here because we're testing, because at least we're adding that string to put in. So now what we want to do here <coughs> is, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of a good way to do this, but first of all, we'll want to test whether or not if the current character equals string to iterate through the last one,
So we're going to use our index here with the negative 1. If it's the last one, we can just do new string plus equals the character. And if it's not, then we should add it along with the string to put in. So let's run this now. Now we have it exactly the way we should. What are you doing? And if it's the last character, it doesn't add on that 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 last piece here. So if we change this to uh, those dot dot dots again, remember it has to be inside of a string here. One, two, three. What are you doing? Oh, I only put in two. My bad. But it still works that same way. There you go. So now this is the ID here, but let's see if we can make this just a little bit more easy, if that makes sense. I don't want to have to use the character, or at least run this append thing once more and once more, so we should change this to... I want to be able to do this no matter what we're doing, so... If it's the last one, then string to put in... Hmm. Add can be string to put in. Actually, add can be nothing, and if it's not, add can be what, we're, what we plan on putting in to begin with. So we can always add this new add thing right here. Now this works the exact same way, but we're, we've created a new variable here and we're only appending once. Does that make sense? <laughs> And I'm thinking, rather than having to reset this all the time, we could actually just set this up in the beginning here. Actually, before we even start looping, so it'd be even better, because that way we don't have to reset this variable over and over and over again. That makes things a lot faster and a lot easier. So, there you go, guys. There you have it. <laughs> A quick and easy way to set this up, and you can even understand a little bit more of the, the logic that we're using here, because we're going to use another filler variable that will represent what we're adding, and if we aren't adding anything because it's the last character, we can just change that to nothing, and all we have to worry about is this. And this, is, this if statement won't run every time that we loop, because it's not going to be the ending variable. It'll only happen once. And before we start looping, we're changing add to be the string that we put in, so the only time we're going to have something different here in this add variable is that last time, and we don't have to keep resetting this add function every time we iterate through a character inside that string. Does that make sense? <laughs> I know that's kind of a mouthful, but when you look at it in action, it does exactly what we, ex what we expected it to, and it's a lot similar to that built-in function join. In fact, it is that built-in function join, we're just trying to recreate it in our own form. So, there you go guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.